Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, today we're looking at something a little bit less pleasant than normal. Uh, this is a MacBook Pro that is, as described by the customer, infested with some kind of mites. So um, yeah, uh, we're going to gingerly take this apart and clean it all out. Uh, they have tried doing a little bit of cleaning themselves with a hoover, but apparently just every time they opened the screen there were just more of them. Um, so the general procedure that we're going to go through today is to strip and clean the laptop in its entirety. Um, the actual slip case, well, that's probably going to be infested as well, but it's hard to tell because it's white and soft on the inside. So for the sake of a £10 slip case, we're just going to chuck that in the bin. So when we open up the laptop, we can immediately see some dust on the screen, but on closer inspection, the dust is moving. Uh, so what these things are, are mold mites. Uh, they're similar to dust mites, but they're a little bit bigger and they're white instead of brown. Uh, they're not harmful, they don't bite, but you can have an allergic reaction to them if you have those kinds of allergies. So we're going to clear all of these out. Now, I was super worried that when I took the back panel off this laptop, I was going to see some kind of horror movie-esque nest that was just crawling but uh, thankfully the interior of the laptop actually looks okay which confirms the initial suspicion that these fellas are all hiding in the keyboard now because they're mold mites this would be the logical place for them to be because the keyboard is where you're going to find sort of a bit of damp and a bit of mold because that's where you get sort of sweat and crumbs and all sorts of stuff accumulating and um, there are a couple of bits of dust in the laptop but nothing really terrible so what we're going to do now is start taking everything out of the laptop and cleaning it so we can chase everything back into one place. So to make sure that I keep this infestation contained, I've cleared my countertop and we're going to do a very methodical remove item, move to left, clean, put into clean pile. Uh, the cleaning agent that I'm using for this is isopropyl alcohol. Uh, now this has a couple of advantages. It's non-conductive, so I can use it liberally on the laptop without damaging it. It is a very good cleaning agent, so it's gonna take off any scum, dust, uh, grime, that kind of thing. And finally, it's going to kill anything, anything biological that it touches. So that means I can be certain that even if I don't brush them all away, all of the mites will be dead and any eggs or anything like that are not going to hatch. And we can see as I start removing components already that there are just the little pockets of dust that are all just filled with these little mites. So it's not terrible, but just the usual places that I expect to be dusty, we're seeing that little scurry of movement. So there's a little bit of art on the back of the uh, trackpad as well, but you can't see it in this shot. So everything that comes out, we're hoovering it, we're dousing it in alcohol, we're wiping it down. Next up, we're removing the hard drive, which at first glance looks completely clean. However, underneath that circuit board, there is often liquid damage protection, like either some foam or some plastic or something like that. So we're going to remove the controller board and just make sure that nothing has penetrated into the drive. And surprise, surprise, there's some little white specks scurrying around on the plastic there. So we're going to separate out these layers and give them the same treatment as everything else. Dows in alcohol, scrub down, dry off, move to the clean pile. Once I'd gotten to the end of this job, I'd become a little bit more desensitized to it. However, initially at this point, I've still got all the heebie-jeebies from what I'm dealing with here. So we're removing the logic board in the most awkward possible way, and that's using tweezers and a screwdriver so I don't have to touch it directly. This is a lot like trying to eat an orange with a knife and fork, so uh, I make a bit of a hash up of this. Mm -hmm. 
while I'm working on this, I've just poured some alcohol into a glass to my right here and all of the screws and any other small fittings that come out of the laptop, I'm just dropping into that alcohol bath. So that means if there's anything clinging to the parts that I'm removing for the laptop that I'm not specifically cleaning, they're going to get doused in alcohol as well. Now we've got that logic board out, we can clean it up as well as the CPU fan. So the CPU fan, we're going to open this up just by prying the cover off. Um, there's a couple of these pry points and then a screw holding it on and we can give that a nice alcohol bath. Then after that, I'm going to remove the heatsink and the speaker assembly from the logic board so I can give that a proper clean up as well. And again, I'm being fairly liberal on both of these because if there's anything left over, it's just going to reinfest the laptop again. So overkill is underrated here. I wanna make sure that I only have to do this job once. Now we're down to just the final fiddly bits of the laptop. So we need to remove the wireless card, which will give us access to the DVD drive. Then we also need to remove the hard drive ribbon cable uh, and also the bracer bar on the back of the keyboard. And that will give us the final access to the body of the laptop. So some of these places are probably a little bit unnecessary like that hard drive ribbon cable. But again, I'm doing everything on this because I don't wanna do this job twice. We're gonna do it right, we're gonna do it once. And now we're down to the last couple of components that I've been dreading, and that is the display assembly, the trackpad, and the keyboard. And this is where we know that they're hiding. So as you can see, as soon as we open it, we see our old friends, and there's a lot of them now. They've obviously all been chased back down to the screen where I've been disturbing them up above. So we're gonna drown everything in alcohol now. We're gonna kill those little dudes off. As you can see, they're not enjoying that bath. They've kind of all clumped up and now they're looking a bit sorry for themselves. So with everything killed off, we can come in and just wipe away all the excess. And also as a bit of extra insurance, I'm just gonna check the hinge cover as well. And I'm glad I did because when I had a quick look, we can see some little dudes in there as well. So we're gonna give the whole thing another once over with the alcohol. Overkill is underrated here. Now we're gonna do the trackpad which is looking fairly clear at this point. As we've been working, we seem to have been chasing all of the mites away deeper into the laptop, probably into the keyboard. So this thing is not too horrifying, but we're gonna give it a full scrape, clean and scrub down anyway. This is good to do now anyway, just because the trackpad often needs cleaning on a MacBook Pro to keep it working properly. So this is a nice little maintenance routine. Okay. It's the next day now and I left the keyboard laying face down on this mouse pad which I doused in alcohol to make sure that nothing could escape the laptop. And I think all of those alcohol fumes are gonna kill off anything that's in the keyboard. So we're going to remove the keyboard backlight by digging underneath the four layers of it and then just pulling the whole thing off as a single sheet. And then after that, we've got to take off the millions of screws in the keyboard and then we can lift out the keyboard itself and inspect it.
and considering what we're dealing with, it's actually not too bad. So we move it, we get everything lined up and we cover everything in the isopropyl alcohol. And then I'm gonna go over all of it with toothbrushes and kitchen towels to make sure they're nice and clean. And then once that's done, we can reassemble the entire laptop. to inspect the fruits of our labor, a nice, clean, uninfected keyboard. It's still covered with bits of white where there is some fibers coming off the kitchen towels that I'm using. However, what's important is that this dust isn't crawling around all over the keyboard. And now here's our full layout of all the components of this laptop. Let's rebuild it all.
we have one fully cleansed laptop. Thank you for watching everyone, I will see you all next time. Goodbye for now.